Let's keep going. Chapter 17, 10 past 5 a.m. The upper-ended submarine continues to sink slowly but surely, a long, long journey to the bottom of the sea. Lynn and the little lady found in the darkness and the salt water closing in on them, but at the very last second something saved them. Now it looks down at them quietly. My head is filled with one giant question. What in the world is this thing? It's a... Um, ah! So you managed to survive, detective. Hey, yo! Excuse my appearance. I seem to have lost my body. Oh, and you there. He's looking at the screen. You're the ghost who's been saving Lynn all, all this all evening, aren't you? You knew about me all along? Of course. What else would explain all those unnatural things happening? If you knew, how come you didn't do anything about it all this time? How come you decided to save us all of a sudden? I thought you wanted to get revenge on us. I don't really know. Please, you gotta tell me. I need to know. Who in the world are you? Cecil, look at you, what happened? I can't hold on to that image of myself any longer. You can't remember who you are. That's right. I came all this way tonight trying to chase down my lost memory. For quite a bit of tonight, I thought I was you, Sizzle. Sizzle? My name isn't Sizzle. I bet you'll remember really soon who you are and who I am too. What? The man in front of me is not me. I'm even further away from the truth. Or maybe not. Something is stirring in my mind. A memory about to emerge. Like people emerging from water. Do I know this man? Now that I've shed my image of myself, I feel like I'm one step closer to the truth. God is good. It's all over for this submarine. The engine room is destroyed. There's a hole in the hull and it's sinking as we speak. What are you doing here? I thought you had to deal with those people. They betrayed me. I was a fool to trust them. They already have what they wanted now. The Temsic fragment. I didn't know that they had figured it out. You mean they figured out your, the source of your powers? Yeah, the meteorite's radiation has two effects on living creatures. It gives power and time. If you don't mind, we'd like to hear more. The radiation's power factor. These ten years, I've been watching that junkyard superintendent do his research, and I think I've got some of it figured out. The meteorite's radiation gives spirits special powers, like possessing and manipulating objects. And in my case, swapping objects. Exactly. Apparently there are individual differences in the powers we get, and it seems these powers change as time goes by. They do! Yeah, my powers have changed over these past ten years. At first, I could only manipulate small living creatures. Now then, how do you suppose we got these powers? It's simple. Is it? How then? In a nutshell, we died while exposed to the energy emitted by the meteorite. It's radiation. That's what it... That's what does it. Dying by being exposed to the radiation while... On that day ten years ago... A fragment of that meteorite pierced my heart and I died. So of course I received special powers, of course. Hey, wait a minute. Is that how I got my powers too? You know, you might be right. Aww. Aww. 
Aren't the Timsic remnants still there? Right there in the park at the bottom of the crater. You're right. So that must mean I must have died in the presence of the meteorite's radiation too. Another effect of the meteorite's radiation is that it gives us time. Again, I think of this time effect centered around the theme of death, but that's but it's not all that clear. So the fact that I can return to four minutes before a person's death is another effect of the meteorite. One of the characteristics of the meteorite is the ability to replay the moment of death. Replay the moment of death? Ah, oh, this is so strange and confusing, I can't take it all in. It makes about as much sense to me as anything else. Yeah, no, strange and confusion. This just about sums up the object that pierced my body that day. Thanks to that meteorite fragment, my very existence is a contradiction. What do you mean? Wawenge. Oh no. We'll do Wawenge first. Oh, Muerta. Before I left this country, I wanted to do one thing. I wanted to get Wawenge. Muerta on the people who stole our lives. Our lives. As a part of the deal, I made those guys promise to cooperate. Cooperate? You mean the kidnapping? It all went fine. I manipulated the justice minister, made him issue the execution order. But I thought I might, might call off the execution at the last second. So that's why he wanted his daughter kidnapped. But they kidnapped the wrong girl. Little did I know that they had their own reasons for cooperating with me. Huh? The objective was to wipe out everyone who had to do had to do with Timsik. Detective Jowd was one such person, so they were happy to cooperate. Inspector Cabanello and the Junkyard Super, they were slated to be wiped out too. And as it turns out... I was one of their targets as well. So they told my stole my Tempsic fragment. Here I am. But they had one more final target. You detective. Me. The contra what about the contradictory existence? That day when the fragment pierced my heart, I lost my life. However, because it remained inside of me, the fragment continued to con constantly regenerate my body. In other words, my body was continuously cycling between moments that have separated my life and death. What? My body's vital function stopped ten years ago, but my body's time is perpetually stopped at the moment just before death. Time just stopped, huh? So I just simply existed, not being alive and not really dead. It pretty much sums up the last ten years for me, ever since the incident in the park. My body hasn't aged a day, my hair hasn't grown an inch. Come to think of it, the old pigeon guy mentioned something. He said he couldn't cut this guy's body with a scalpel. So I guess as soon as the incision was made, his body would have regenerated. Wow! One final target. If you weren't there in the park that day ten years ago, I never would have thought of doing something as stupid as taking a hostage. Okay. But I was just a little kid playing in the park. Yeah, I know. Huh? Ten years later, you'd become detective looking into Gerald's case. Tonight I invited you to a quiet spot at the edge of town. It was a trap, you see. I told you who I was. You never saw my face that day ten years ago. So of course you didn't recognize me. took possession of you and to make you shoot me. Your subconscious resisted me. Such incredible power. It was the first time I wasn't able to control somebody completely. The aim was off and the first shot missed the mark. Where are you? The second one here. The junkyard was equipped with security cameras. 
I knew you'd be wanted for murder. That wasn't my plan anyway. But they had other ideas. They simply wanted you wiped out. But then, something threw a big monkey wrench into their scheme. I showed up. Oh, I see. I was supposed to meet up with them after that, but something went wrong. What happened? My body disappeared. Ah, the inspector with the in white was responsible for that one. My precious bargaining chip was in that body. I had to get it back no matter what. The inspector caused me no end of trouble. That's why those people were targeting me. But why, I mean. You can... The noble shouldn't be... Oh, it depends what version you're playing. Uh, I didn't touch Tetra Master, though. I've... Uh, I think the rules... Is it eight with the rule changes? Uh, I don't think I ever fully understood the rules to Tetra Master. Oh, yes, of course. Yeah, yeah, I remember now. Never even heard of the Temsic meteorite. Because you were looking into the doubt case. They thought you'd find out about Temsic sooner or later. And that pretty much is the whole story. The only thing left to do now is to wait for the water press here to cross this submarine. Well, they made an entire separate game out of that one. Who oh, no. There's no core that links from here to the water surface. I have an idea. We hook up the phone line and... There's no communication to cables down this deep. They meant for this submarine to be my coffin. A coffin for the dead. There's no escape. Ooh. I think I kind of understand now. What you've been feeling these ten years. You what? You what? This feeling cut off for the world all alone in a submarine, sinking slowly towards the bottom of an endless sea. This must be how you felt all along. Ben? Camilla! Is it true? We're stuck here. What? Oh, um... If my dad... My dad would here, I bet he'd save us. Oh, Camilla, I'm so sorry. Hmm, that's funny. What is it, Sizzle? Oh, Sizzle? There's something I don't understand. Why would they go to all the trouble of detaching the control room? What? Why didn't they just steal the Temsic fragment and escape? That's what they wanted. Why did they have to jettison your body off into the sea? Hmm, that's a good question. I guess it doesn't matter why now. We'll never find it again. We have no idea where it was launched to. Wait a minute. Yes, we do. This will tell us where Detective Jowd is. The present from the Inspector in White. That's right. Detective Jowd told me to hold it, hold on to it for him. And the bullet is still in the person's body in the command room, right? Then we should be able to tell exactly where it is with this. But even if we find out where it is, how do we get there? We should be able to figure out something between the three of us. With our powers, right, Miss Lynn? Right. Oh, wait a minute. What about a torpedo? A torpedo? In any case, it's way too early to give up. It looks like Detective Jowd is our last hope. Come on, let's get started. It is trick time. Sorry, one second. Oh, I know I keep taking breaks, but... Uh, 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 how do I pause? Can I pause in this? Um, well, we should do that, shouldn't we? Right. Uh, can, we, can we use his powers? 
There's a bottle. Well, that bottle might come in handy. So my dad isn't on the submarine. Don't worry, we're going to get him right now. Okay. I didn't. hope I didn't hurt Lynn's feelings. What if I said my dad's saving us? What I said about my dad saving us if he was here. Oh, don't worry about that. Comments like that just fall off right off Miss Lynn's back. She's very thick-skinned. Ouch. I'm going to start being tougher too. Um, I want to make my dad proud of me. Miss Camilla. I'm sure your dad is very proud of you, Camilla. Hmm. Grapes. Why is this machine shoving grapes at me? Well, this looks like a private cabin in the top office, uh, doesn't it? The machine probably is for feeding him grapes while he lies in bed. Sorry. Um, one second. Hmm. Sorry, I'm gonna have to. This machine is probably for feeding him grapes while he lies in bed. Oh, it sounds heavenly. I've been thinking about this for a while now, but don't you think the country's use of technology is just a little off? Says the guy who made a deal with said country. Anyway, it looks like the arm of this machine is a bit busted. Better not open this. The water would come gushing in a bit. It's it's such a peaceful mood at the moment. No need to throw cold water on it. Well, I wouldn't go so far as to call it peaceful. Oh, I, I, I'm like 75% of the way, 74% of the way through that game. And like the secret last worm is like the last quarter of that game. So I think pretty well. There's one level that's just really difficult and it's one of the really early ones. And I'm going to need to do it at some point. Apparently it's just like... Uh, it wasn't supposed to be that hard, but everyone really struggles with it. Hmm. So my dad is near on the submarine. Don't worry, we're going to get him to him right now. Okay. Hope I didn't hurt his feet. Okay, well, no, we read this already. I haven't. I, I think, because I played them at the time, and I don't actually know how interesting modern lemmings would be. But I'm considering it. No. The shell is definitely there in the common room, right? Without the shell, without the fragment, it's there. But I don't know about calling it a shell. Tech of Jared's watch will tell us exactly where it is. Right. He said he was the radio receiver, didn't he? There might still be another torpedo on this submarine. If we use it, we can get to Detective Jowd. It's a brilliant plan. Detective. You think so? Ha <laughs> ha! What are you going to do? Ride it to the top of the torpedo? Of course not. You guys are going to go. Tana. I kind of wanted to see that. Did you want to see me drown? Okay, so I guess we do trick. And then we get, get on there. No, not there. And then, yeah. Better. To the torpedo room? Torpedo room, huh? There won't be another torpedo left in there. Better go check. Oh, I get it. You're going to use the missile to ram the control room. Don't know about ram, but I don't want to blow up the detective or something like that. 
We'll climb up to the top of the room two. Up is definitely safer. Okay, I'll see you there then. Looks like the torpedoes can be launched manually with these switches. There are two tubes, so there should be one left. I guess the first thing we do is load it into the tube. When it comes to missiles, you can count on me. I'll enter the coordinates of the command room into the torpedo. And uh, I just turned on the backup power. We ought to be able to use the switches now. Okay, let's try it. Good luck. What does this do? It does nothing. Which one badge? Maybe it's broken. Don't think the entire device is working though. Probably do find it. My power's alone. Hmm. What will happen to these two ladies? Hmm. Ah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, people, it's, uh, people are unlikely to find this stream. Uh, what will happen to these two ladies? Oh, sorry, I just read that, didn't I? I think it's up to us and our powers. What? This is no time to be standing around unsure of ourselves. Will you lend me your strength missile? Me, of course I will. Count on it. Right, um, what are we trying to do? Uh, what will happen to... Okay, now we, we, we literally just did this. Make any difference? I have no idea. Lovely. There we go, that torpedo looks serviceable. All set on this end too. But something's odd. What is it? The command room looks like it's slowly sinking. Sinking? Yeah, it's like it's completely run out of power. I wonder what happened. I don't know, but I guess I'll find out. Right, okay, hop onto the missile. I'll launch it for you. Okay, thanks. Took time. I've already set the torpedo's course. Head towards the command room where Detective Jowd is. Twelve seconds after launching, it'll pass by the command room for an instant. That instance will be your window of opportunity to jump over to the command room. Of course. Okay, I got it. We'll find a way to come back and save you. It'll probably be my last task tonight. Just hold on until we get back. Okay, come on, missile. Missile? I... I'm sorry, I can't go. What? I just can't. How can I leave? I can't leave Miss Lynn and Miss Camilla behind. I can't do it. Can't do it. Missile. I swapped the switches so the missile can be launched. You'll, you'll have to do the rest, Sizzle. I can't do it either. I can't ask the missile to come with me after that. I understand exactly how it feels. I want you to go, Missile. What? But Miss Lynn... You staying here won't change our fate. But if you go with a sizzle, you might be able to make something happen. That's our only hope. But what if something doesn't happen? I'll never be able to see you again. Never, ever again. E even I can understand that. I couldn't stand that. Don't worry, Missile. Miss Camilla. I just know you and Sizzle can make something happen. I believe in you. I'll be right here waiting for you. We'll see each other then. Don't worry. While you were on your way to St. Ives, did you meet a serial polygamist? 
with a lot of kittens. With a lot of uh, tiny mittens, like an absurd amount of mittens. Miss Camilla! That's a good boy, Missile. And that's why there's two seats. Now, are you ready? Uh, sorry, I, it's a re no. Nobody ever gets the reference. It's the as I was going to send Ives. I met a man with seven wives, and each seven wives has seven Saxons, seven Saxons, seven cats, and seven cats, seven mittens. And then you ask how many people you passed, which the answer is one. But like, um, I think I don't know if it's a haven. I, I'm the worst person to ask, to be honest. Um, are we ready? There's 12 seconds after I throw the switch. We're ready. Cecil? Yes? We never found out who you really were, but it doesn't matter now. All I know is I'm truly glad I met you tonight. Thank you for everything. And I'm glad I met you, Detective. But we're going to see each other again, right, Cecil? Right, Miss Al? That's right. We promise, little lady. Of course we will. I'll never forget you, no matter what happens. That sounds like Cornwall. Uh, here goes, then. Good luck, friend. These 12 seconds are lasting an eternity. I strive to think of a way to save Lean and the little lady the whole time. But how can a ray of light of hope reach this far down into the deep sea before I can think of an answer? The 12 seconds are up. Detective Geoud, I bet that big masked man did this. I'm gonna bite him! You better not, you might break your teeth. It is very hilly down here. Uh, the command room has lost power and it's sinking, so I wonder what this masked man is going to do. Let's talk to Detective Jowd. It's a short time. Sorry for the wait, Detective Jowd. Who are you? Are you this all? Please excuse my parents. I can't believe you made it here. How about Camilla? And what about Lynn? Well, it's kind of a long story. I told Detective Jowd about everything that happened on the submarine Yon Noah. So the submarine is badly damaged. Why would he do that to his own submarine? I wish I knew. I know the answer to that one. It's because he's afraid of my powers. Where the fuck did you come from? You. You followed us? I didn't even know it. How? There was only two spaces. It's been ten years, long years, Detective Child. Are you... Yomiel? What a weird name. So you remember me, do you? How could I possibly forget? So that's your real name, huh? Yomiel. That's right. But those people on you know I were calling you Sissel. That's just an alias I was using for my deal with them. I didn't see any need to tell them my real name. Could you do me a favor? Would you let me ask you some questions? I've been trying to find out my true identity all night. Sure, go ahead. I'm sure there are plenty we can still tell you, right, Detective Jowd? Right. About Yomiel. Ten years ago, you were the top systems engineer, weren't you? Systems engineer, what's that? By the way, I'm the top Pomeranian, you know? Well, it's kind of hard to explain to the dog, but it's a person who's good at using computers. Capital is saying a lot. Uh, I, I know it's like, it's a city vi only via the, the slimmest of technicalities. Um, I mean, I guess it is, but like, it's very small. Uh, I don't mean to brag, but I was one of the best in the industry. That's how I got roped into joining that project. Project? What project? It was a project aimed at the reorganization 
reorganizing the nation's top secret information. The goal was to build a new system using multi-dimensional programming theory. I was asked to join the project by an agent of the government. It doesn't sound like something a top Pomeranian would know anything about. Oh yes, yes, yes. Uh, Exit is, I think, bigger than a lot bigger than Truro. Um, um, to me, that sounded like a lot, a, another challenging job. However, this project was also the target of a secret plot. I bet you can imagine that the crimes of the nation's top secret might attract. I never, for the life of me, uh, I'd ever have to deal. What? I never thought for the life of me I'd ever have to deal with spies. I was never made public, but every organization in the country moved on this one. And then one day, the name of the certain programmer emerged as a suspect. It's written. This game was written by a programmer. Uh, oh, look, it's, uh, it's, I was the guy who built the core of the system. The police arrested you, and then that incident happened. He escaped from interrogation room and took the little Lynn as a hostage. By the way, Detective Jout, when was it that I was proven innocent? About six months after your death. I'm so sorry, Yomio. Your motives were Wenge, your muerta, ten years ago. My soul was split from my body, and I lost everything. I was sealed in eternal darkness. That's a game, isn't it? Eternal Darkness. I existed in this world, no question about that. But nobody noticed my presence. What good were my powers if they didn't help anybody? Not even the passage of time could heal my pain. In fact, it only made it worse. I'm mean, cool, always a holiday destination. I wanted to disappear. But I wasn't even allowed to do that. The way Lynn described it is exactly right. Sinking slowly towards the bottom of an endless sea. An overwhelming feeling of loneliness and despair. And I wanted all of you to suffer what I was suffering. That's why they call him Sufferoff, uh, and so that's why you murdered Alma. That's right. I wanted you to know what it was like to lose everything you cared about. I wanted you to feel the same pain I felt. Yeah, I imagine. What? Well, that reminds me, um, holiday during the pandemic, holiday goers still came to Cornwall, and they had to be told to fuck off, uh, which Cornish people love doing to, to Emmett's. Uh, it's their favorite thing. Uh, it was the... Are you sending me a message at this hour? Sorry, I got distracted. Oh, fair enough. Um, <laughs> uh, my little brother is up very late. Um, as am I, but so I can't really... It was the twisted wish of a mind poisoned by infinite loneliness. It's actually been a while since I've seen the sea, and I live right next to it. Um, when was the last time I saw the sea? Probably last time I was in Nuki. Uh, probably a while. And then, I was plotting, as I was replotting my revenge, Muerta, Wawenge, I had an idea. I came up with a plan to use these powers of mine to make a deal. The deal? There's something I just don't understand about that deal. I'm sure your powers would have been very valuable to them, but... Why would you get... What would you get out the deal? A new life. Life? I asked them for two conditions. Number one was that they helped me get my Wawenge plot. Or Muerta. And the second was a rebirth of me. Rebirth? A new beginning, eh? Let's start again. A second time around. A new... A a second chance! Okay. I didn't care if it was a fake life or an artificial life. I just wanted a physical receptacle for my soul, a name, identity, and everyday life. I wanted to grow old in a society that would accept me, and finally I wanted to die surrounded by a loving fa- Well, you didn't, didn't ask for much then. 
That's the kind of life I asked them for. <laughs> Completely man-made life. That's right. I knew I couldn't hope for anything more than that. Or less, apparently? To make it all come true, I knew it would take a lot of money and a lot of power. That's why I decided to ask the national government to help me. And their response in the end was betrayal! Betrayal! They were making their moves more carefully than I'd suspected. They sent spies to this country and researched my powers on their own. And they even figured out what Tim Sick was all about. Talky. I think so, yes. Yes. Um, well, down in Cornwall, we still have, um, uh, you know, uh, Celtic names. Uh, so we also get, like, weird fucking places, like Water Matrout and um, Ambrose and uh, yeah, Truro and Red Roof are Celtic names. Uh, you have no idea they were doing all this. None at all, I was a fool. So then, why did they go to all the trouble of making a deal with you? Why didn't they just steal the hunk of Temsic meteorite from the park? They couldn't. Huh? After the manipulator incidents, the research was conducted in this country too. A report was submitted to the government about the source of the manipulator's power. By Inspector Cabanella and the old pigeon guy, eh? How are you seeing this flashback? At first, the government didn't believe the report. But then they decided to put the park under surveillance just in case. Surveillance, huh? It just looks like an ordinary peaceful park, but there are armed agents there at all times. Don't tell me that odd leaflet guy is one of them. No, not him. He's just a plain old person. Old odd person. The park is like a silent battlefield on an international scale. So that's why they couldn't steal Temsic and Meteorite. And lately, under the pretense of building a housing site, they've been working on a plan to destroy that park in order to secure the Temsic Meteorite. So that's it, hey? So the upshot of your grand deal was this, eh? Hey? Yeah, and it's the ending I deserve. At least there's one thing you must be happy about. What's that? You managed to seal me away at the bottom of the sea forever. Well, shall we get started? Started with what? Bringing Detective Jowd back to life, of course. What? What good will that do that now? We promised! We promised Miss Lynn and Miss Camilla that we'd save them. And we can't do that without you, Detective Jowd. <gasps> I've been guided by fate towards... Tonight to this place. I won't give up now. All right, fine. Let's see where it leads us. Here we go, then. Back four minutes before your death. This has been a very long level. Um... Yeah, if the Cornish had the option, uh, we, we, they'd cut, I say they, we'd cut the chains to Plymouth and just float off and be our own country. Uh, so, where are we headed? Not, we are not headed anywhere to take to. What? There was only enough fuel on board to launch us away to take to. We won't. We will run out soon, and that will be our destination, Detective! What are you talking about? That would mean that you're trapped here too! He's a robot. By the way, I am not human, Detective! I am a remote controlled robot, Detective! What? Your country's use of technology. It's just plain off. We get that a lot, Detector. Why would you go to all the trouble to do this? There's nothing but a shell there. It's hardly a threat anymore. Commander Sith likes to provide against any possibility, no matter how small, Detector. Possibility? What are you talking about? There was no need to, for you to know, Detector! Oh, 
Now is the time to say goodbye to Detective. In the end, your fate remains the same, it seems, Detective. Ah, Camilla, forgive me. Do we have sound? We do. It isn't over yet. It isn't? Remember what it, that big masked man said? Any possibility? He's not masked. He's not a man. Um, any possibility out? No matter how small? Possibility. In other words, there must be a chance here somewhere. It's a possibility of turning this situation around. Yeah, well, at some point I need to get, um... Uh, I was about to say Ace Ventura. Uh, what's that series called? Huh? Uh, Ace Attorney, which is sort of in the same genre as this. What is it, Detective? Look at your male shell. There's no aura emanating from his body. Of course there isn't. The Temsic fragment is gone. Could this change? Could this change in his shell give us some kind of lead? Figured it out. I know what this possibility, no matter how small is, that they're afraid of. What is it? My time was perpetually stopped thanks to the power of Tempsic. Oh, you can jump tack back ten years and bring back his dead wife. Phoenix Wright, that's the one. It's going to be a while though, but it is on the list. Uh, his body cycle between the moments that separate his life and death. Right, but not anymore. The Tempsic fragment's been taken away. Exactly. So what does that mean? I get it. Your body won't come back to life anymore. The moment Tempsic fragment was removed, my shell became a regular corpse. So let's see, that means we can go back, back to four minutes before your death. But wait a minute, exactly when is that death? That's simple. We'll find out. When we get there, let's move! It's time to rewind time. I fell back through the cracks of time for what seemed like forever, and then I saw it, the final death at the end of this long night. Who exactly am I? I've already seen all the clues. All I have to do now is remember. The final journey to the truth starts now. Right, um... Phoenix Wright. I know it's like the last chapter. Um, I, I, I need to know how long the final chapter is. If it's the final chapter. let I mean, we can say yes and just turn it off anyway. Uh, final chapter. Okay, how long... How long is the final chapter... Of... Ghost Trick... I mean, it's still a puzzle, right? Uh, it'd be really nice to do tonight, especially since there's a bunch of people here. Um, but at the same time, I'm struggling a little bit. Oh, right, fuck it. Let's let's keep going. When was Yamiel's death? It was ten years ago when the Timsic meteorite fell. We travelled back through time, and now we're here at the scene of their death. The start of all of this is about to replay itself. Four minutes before Yomel's death. It's ready! Hold it! Give it up! Do you really think you can outrun me? Hey! Now just calm down and drop that weapon! Stay back! If you come any closer, I'll shoot her! <gasps> Are you a cat? 
Have I been a cat this entire time? Ha! Huh. Oh, a kitten! Shoo! You might get hurt! You've got to be kidding me! Or is the cat the one, the voice from the very beginning? The cat's definitely important. Are you okay? You're all right, are you hurt? You saved me, mister. I was just doing my job. The gods, they're the ones who saved you. What's your job, mister? Uh, me, I'm a... a, 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 a ooh, I'm a police detective. Shit. Should have told her anything. So that's the Timsic meteorite, eh? It's beautiful looking at it from this angle. It changed all of our fates completely. Can't stop Timsic from falling from the sky, but we might be able to protect you from that fragment and save your life. I don't know. What's the matter, Detective Jowd? To be perfectly honest, I'm scared. If the meteorite fragment doesn't get him, I'm pretty sure I would have shot him. You might not be able to change your fate of dying. I can accept that. <gasps> what I did was inexcusable. No matter, yeah, I mean, he still did a murder, even if it was a ghost. Uh, he just did it after he died. Which is a hell of a sentence. Um, no matter how... I mean, uh, please don't shoot an unarmed man, though. But um, no matter how the future may, may change, the fact will never go away. If my, it is my fate to die here. I can accept that. This will be our last battle against fate. Beyond that will be a new future. Okay, let's get started. Strict time. So, uh, can we talk to you? No. What do we got? Okay. Headphones. Roasted sweet potato. Uh, that's an interesting shaped object right there. Nozzle. Nozzle. Egg. Miss Lynn looks so happy. Sure, she's happy. She's about to eat some sweet potato. And that happiness is about to be shattered in a single instance when she drops the sweet potato. I don't think you're seeing the big picture. Anyway, we have to keep our eyes peeled. We've got to keep our potatoes peeled for a chance to make our move. Right, we won't drop the ball or the sweet potato. Oh, wow. Either we have to wait for time to go forwards or... Now, how are we going to save you? And then we just wander off somewhere that would solve everything. When her sweet potato is almost ready, ha! She's not going to budge from that spot. But, oh, she's cooking. Uh, you know, that makes me wonder. Little girl all alone in the park listening to music and roasting a sweet potato. What kind of childhood did this girl have? Doesn't everybody have at least one day in their life like that? Give her a break. Anyway, if Lynn doesn't budge from that spot, then we'll just have to have the fragment move instead. It's ready! Hold it! Make Conspicuous cat. The phones. Sweet pedet, potato. My poor Miss Lynn! I'm sorry. If you're so sorry, then put it down! It's alright now, Miss Al. I was really out of my head that day. Well, we can talk about this all later. The Tempsic meteorite was going to fall very soon. Before that happens, I have to think of a way to do something about that fragment. And I'll do everything I can do to help, too! Um... Examine this sweet potato. What in the world is this thing? Oh boy, you even forgot what a sweet potato is! There's a roasted root vegetable, it's good! 
There's nothing like them on a cold winter's day. They're sweet and they smell delicious. These guys are making me want to try one. Ah, oh, shit. Uh, are you gonna hurt? Okay, I'm sorry, I wasn't thinking. You really startled her. You've made her drop her sweet potato. Uh, I know how much this girl loves her food too. Anyway, this, her fate's changed a bit ever so slightly. Yeah, I don't think that's the correct answer, uh, but... Um... It is. There is a fate change. I just assumed you needed to get off while in the air. Disappointing. Maybe the timing was a little off. Slain always said better early than late. Try it again. Okay. After fate change. Sweet potato! <gasps> that big scary sweet potato! It's not a sweet potato, that's Missal, that's Mino! Alright, of course! But look at them! The potato and Mino! Right now they both have the same shape! So you're saying you could swap them, huh? Good idea, Missile, that'll probably do something. Okay, here I go. Gonna need your help. My help. I think it's... I think I need to redo it and be on the potato. John, why did you let it count down? Oh shit, I'm switching. Swap it with that one, okay. No, I just want to be like. be on one of them without being on this.
Uh, okay, switch. Get out of the goddamn way. I can't get out of the goddamn way. Ah, he's in the what? He can't move. I need him to be in anywhere else. Get out of the goddamn way! 